uh, uh, my little brother somehow got to a pistol. Nobody knew where the pistol came from and killed itself. And feel me, that's that situation just. And my and during that process, my mom was fighting stage four cancer. Three months after my little brother died, my mom died from cancer. August. You What's up, man? Y'all already know this your boy Young Cash Capri. I'm from North Philly. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing music now for like five or six long straight years. I had some ups, I had some downs. But now we just right in the middle. We just ground move. No, facts though, because um, I've been watching you for a minute and shit like that. The first time I ran into you on some in-person shit was down South Philly. 25th night, I had drove past. Listen, man, it's YKC. You already know what it is. I want to give a shout out to Welcome to the South Side. I say, yeah. I'm gonna give y'all my jail joint. I say, I know how it feel. I know how it feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how it feel. I know how it feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was out there with Owen. Shit, I hopped out. Yeah. And you, you, you went right to it. You straight yeah. some bars and shit. No hesitation and shit like that. So, um. Just talk about as far as where you from and shit like that. You say you from North, but how was your upbringing? Yeah, I'm from North Philly, man. I'm from uh, K&A, Kensington, Allegheny, uh, F.M. Clementine to be specific. Uh, I grew up with 11 siblings. I'm the third oldest out of 11. Uh, yeah, so I'm used to just like being around a lot of... A lot of responsibility. Yeah, like, yeah, for real, for real. That's basically it, yeah, for real, for real. Right. So you yeah. from Kensington? Yeah. Right, so talk about that because I know like Kensington, that's like heavy, heavy, like poppy land type of shit like that. Yeah. It's like it ain't too many blacks and shit like that. Yeah, people. yeah, yeah. No, so uh, my mom was like originally from uh, Virginia and shit. She was born in Virginia, but she moved to Philly when she was 10 and shit. So uh, my grandma and them had a house down there on Custer. And my grandma lived there like damn near my whole life. I'm 23 years old. I've been from Kate, that area for like that long and shit. So, uh... Basically, you know, you know, like in that area, it's not really too many black people. And I'm not like all the way black. I, I don't think I never really clarified that the people like I'm mixed and shit. I'm not going to tell you what I'm mixed with because none of y'all business. We will not get into that later, but I'm mixed and shit. So that's how I got the fitting down with the poppies and shit. Yeah. Uh, that's heavy, that's heavy. So, um, like I said, Kensington is definitely his own world and shit like that. And that's definitely like the drug epidemic of, you know, like so that's like the center when it comes to that shit. So. What was some of the, um, like, just experiences, some of the things that you've seen coming up as a young man? Yeah. My fucking uncle was, like, one of, like, f like Kensington's, like, kingpins. Like, and he was only 19. He died when he was 19. But before he died, he was, like, one of them bulls. Like, it's crazy because there's a lot of motherfuckers that knew my uncle and shit that was from uh, different places of the city. I ain't even know they know my uncle. Like, one day I was talking to Nate the Rapper and shit. And he like, damn, man, I ain't know Tabby was your nephew. I mean, was your uncle and shit, like... He a good dude and shit. Like, yeah, my uncle was like a real bull from K and A. Like, K and A is like it's like a drug area. Like, a lot of motherfuckers don't even know that. Like, K and A really like a money drug area. Like, so nine out of ten if motherfuckers located down K and A, they on some like real trying to get money type shit. A little bit of this, a little bit of that Fact. type of vibe. And we definitely going to tap back into the K and A situation later on. That's like a like that yeah. shit is crazy, man. For sure. Know, everybody that's from Philly is not drop at that shit. You know, it's zombie land. Yeah. So um, let's talk about the music and shit like that. Like I said, you definitely one of them artists where you like a true artist and shit. Which is yeah. Going just like so um, when did you first start really fucking with the pen and pad? Uh, I was inspired by my uh my older cousins. They was from South Philly, like Twenty Second and Norris. I think that's Norris or Tasker. Either one of those. Uh, my 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 older cousin was doing music when I was like. Nine or ten years old, they used to be doing music and they basically had like a little uh, setup down there. It wasn't like the best setup. They had some old ass program, but I used to always go down there every chance I get and go down there and write music and try to uh, rap some shit. I, I probably wasn't as nice as I am now, but of course that's where it all started. I was trying to get to where I'm at now, fucking with them. So that they really inspired me, bro. Like my older cousin just watching them doing music and shit. That's what made me really want to do that shit. No, that's crazy. So, how old was you when you was coming down South Philly? That's like different. That's I was South young, Philly. bro. Niggas don't come down there. Yeah, I was young. I, since I had family already out there, my dad was from South Philly. My dad's from Fifth and uh, Washington at the projects and shit. Oh, shit, I and, didn't know that. Yeah, my bro. dad's super bull. My, my dad named Edie and shit from the project. So, a lot of motherfuckers knew my family and shit. So, so since my cousins already had a jump start out there in the P, that's what made me start coming down. And I was real young. I probably was like 9, 10, 12 years old. Them ages. That's heavy. I, yeah. You know, it's crazy. Like, you and me got like the same little, because me, a lot of me family was from South Philly. Philly, yeah. Coming down there, that's what you Yeah. Fucking with niggas. Yeah, that's how that shit be. 
Motherfuckers don't just go down a pit. You gotta be some type of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta have some type of. Relationship, <laughs> yeah, that's a some fact. Type of, somebody gotta make sure you cool down there. That's a fact. So um, alright. So what age was you when you first really, really started taking like music serious and shit like that? Fourteen, bro. Fourteen. Fourteen. I uh, my story goes from the collect call shit. I was locked up when I was fifteen. I got locked up when I was fifteen. Fifteen. No, sixteen years old. I was sixteen, turning seventeen. I was locked up for attempt murder and shit. So, um, I've been grinding though doing music, but my first real experience with music was when I got locked up. I got locked up 